Write down in your journal today, lie and truth. What are some of the lies that you have been telling yourself and what are God's truths that can refute that? Ask God this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're doing this, to give to you, to reveal to you those lies that you've been holding on to and his truth that backs up that that lie is not of him, but is of this world. Let me give you some, for instance. <sighs> My, every single day when I'm at work, in a job that I love, I am tied to a number. My worth is only as good as a number on paper that somebody figured out from spreadsheets that if this, I'm a number too. I'm not Kirsten Lindquist, I'm a number for a corporation. That this number makes this dollar amount every single day. The lie is I'm only worth what I can sell. God's truth is my worth is in him. It is a, a lie and a truth that I have to fight against every single day. And this is not to make you be like, ah, that's horrible and how can you work there? Because I do love my job and I have such, such, it gives me such an opportunity to connect with every single one of you. But when you are putting your worth in what you produce, perform, how much money you make, um, even your health, the lie is, I have a very close friend battling cancer right now. And the lie is, in her darkest, hardest, every single minute of the day moments, it's, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna leave my kids. I'm not gonna make this. Life is unfair. Those are the lies. The truth are, the truth is, but God. And in fact, that can be the answer to every single one of the lies that you write down. The answer can always be, but God. The truth is that you are loved, that you are worthy, that he is enough, that miracles do happen, that he will get you through, that no matter what, you are lovely, saved, beautiful, able to serve, no matter what your circumstances are. So write down what the lies are and then back them by God's truth. And a good way to do that as well is to get into like your Bible app. And let's say your lie has to do with your appearance or let's just put you know down as weight or body image that I the lie is I'll never lose the hundred pounds I have to lose or the lie is God can't love me nobody can love me because I'm overweight so go search what the Lord says about your appearance what the Lord says about your body and back it by the truths from the Bible. It's a great way to get in and do some devotions. You can also, I know I talk about this book all the time. Um, it's not an easy book. <laughs> uh, it really isn't. And you kind of have to be in a headspace to accept it, but it is so good. It's about surrendering. That's what this entire series is about is surrendering and letting go and taking all those thoughts captive, just like it says in the Bible, take every thought captive that is raised up against the knowledge of God. I'll say it again, take every thought captive that is raised up against the knowledge of God and just let it go. Don't try and get rid of your feelings or get rid of your thoughts, but understand that they're merely that. And when you look at them, oh, that negative thought, that negative feeling is coming into my, I see you, but I'm just gonna let you keep on going and I'm going to replace you with God's truths. Here's a great passage from it. When the negative blocks and the I can'ts are removed, whole new areas of life open up. Success stems from doing what we like to do best, but most people are tied down to what they imagine they have to do. When the I can'ts are surrendered, when the lies are surrendered, that's what it's saying, life situations often of long standing may be suddenly resolved. You need to release and surrender the I can'ts. You need to get rid of the lies and replace them with God's truth. So today, write down some of those lies that you repeatedly say over and over and over again in your mind. And maybe you even do it subconsciously. Like, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm just gonna be unhealthy for the rest of my life. Oh, I'm just sick. I am making this disease define me. Mm -mm. Replace that with God's truths. And the number one truth is you are loved and he is enough. You might not be able to control the situation. You might not be able to heal yourself. Although that is up 
for discussion, read the book. You might not be able to make the change, but he can. He is enough. So what are the lies? And replace it with God's truth, lies and truth. And remember, take every thought captive that is raised up against the knowledge of God.